Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Judd Coon Chevrolet in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Really excited to show you this 2015 Chevy Silverado. This is the Rocky Ridge Callaway Special Edition, and it has a ridiculous amount of horsepower and features. And uh, never seen any anything even remotely close to a truck like this. And I'm uh, joined today with buddy of mine Adam that works here at Judd Coon Chevrolet and we're gonna kind of show you this vehicle um, as best we can it's a there's tons of features so we're gonna try to get right at it so looking here in the front you see it has the combination of halogen and um, halogen projector headlight with a re standard halogen light down there with the fog lights so so far it kind of looks a little bit normal but then you notice this 560 badge right there that stands for the horsepower that this beast has 560 horsepower in a truck like this that's it just blows my mind you've got the sc right in front of the 560 so uh that's where the supercharge comes in this, this okay. truck is supercharged by callaway that's uh that's what their their specialty is is supercharging motors and uh the truck was sent to them prior to going to rocky ridge and uh, Callaway went through it and did a, did a bunch of their work on it, including the supercharger. Awesome, this is the same Callaway that used to have the Callaway Corvettes back in the day? Yep. Awesome, okay, all right. You know, just with, uh, with the front of the truck here, the, the grill, the, the Chevy bow tie, uh, all that is, is color key to uh, some other accessories on the truck and the stickers. So that's one one custom feature that comes from Rocky Ridge is is they change out the standard grill with uh, with a custom grill. And the red just happens to match the Judd Coon tag there, which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I do notice it is a little bit different from say the other other grills that I see on the other trucks has more of a it kind of stands out more gets your attention more aggressive looking also right here on the front you've got your bug deflector this is you know really sleek and low profile I mean, uh, it's not like the old days when that piled up full of leaves you know and stuff that yeah you're right the tree. Uh, yeah, i guess really, it's like an adhesive there yeah yeah it's just it's really low profile and protects the front of that hood yeah you can barely notice it I see it's got the supercharged badge up here. Anything else you can say about the front before we move on? Adam? Uh, well, uh, you know, all the Rocky Ridge trucks, one of their custom deals is the stickers are above the, the driver on the top of the windshield. So uh, with this one, they have that same red color coating with the Callaway. Uh, down the center and Rocky Ridge on either side. And it definitely gets your attention. <laughs> it does. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and coming over in this direction, I mean, just the stance of it is, it just seems to sit differently than the other Rocky Ridges. So I, I, think, it's that, I think it's that wheel and tire combination. Um, those are 20 inch custom wheels from Callaway and Rocky Ridge. And then you've, the Rocky Ridge is the four inch left, is that correct? Uh, six inch on six this Six inch, truck. okay. Yeah, they've got a different, pretty good different sizes, but this is six inch on this one. But just the stance of this truck looks a little more uh, mean and aggressive. Maybe it's it does. The, maybe it's the BF good wrenches, you know, instead of having uh, some of the other trucks come with some uh, mud terrain tires on it. Maybe mm -hmm. these BF good, terrain, uh, BF good wrench all terrain tires. Uh, yeah, those are pretty popular uh, tires there. I've heard they're the, the one of the most popular tires for uh, for big trucks and stuff, especially lift trucks. Yeah, when uh, Rocky Ridge lifts a truck, you know they they've got their own custom parts. You know, in the front up there, they've got a uh, coilover springs. Um, have the logo just inside uh, on the shocks, and uh, they they really know what they're doing. They They've been in business since what was it 1985 i believe uh, so rocky ridge trucks and, and they they specialize in lifting trucks and they've got it down pat 
and it's also all covered under the uh, Chevrolet factory warranty because they know what they're doing <laughs> so uh, same thing with the Callaway uh, powertrain now I'm noticing it has some Callaway exhaust tips back here that um, a little bit different from factory a lot different actually because uh, it's got the dual tips coming out out in front of the back tire yeah you've got the dual tips there and also coming out the front is uh, less restriction uh, okay you know than having to go all the way over the rear axle and out the back so uh, you know that's just an extra feature that Callaway adds to their uh, engines to give it that extra horsepower and I guess that's something like if you're compressing all the the, the air into the engine it's got to be able to get out easier so yeah. they have to have a, a better uh, flow of exhaust so I see it's got four-wheel disc brakes and then you've got some more uh, custom bags in here with the Z71 the supercharged 560 horsepower Rocky Ridge Callaway And looking here at the back, I see it has the, the standard features that you would see in, in the other uh, uh, LTZ pack trim level. You've, you've got the, well, this one's got the towing package with the four and seven way plugs. Uh, you also have the steps there on the back, on the, uh, on the bumper. Also, the easy tailgate that slowly lowers itself and easy to lift up and also now the spray and bed liner um that's something that was probably done at chevrolet if i'm not mistaken is that correct no no they uh they'll come with plastic bed liners this was done by rocky ridge to spray in okay um so that is you know one of the extra features on their packages um also with the ltz model you get the sliding rear window um, all righty but yeah i'm just amazed that the the tailgates in comparison to the old days you know they're just yeah, yeah. So light and easy now with that assist. And this one, uh, you can, we can also put a, a tonneau cover or camper shell, you know, on the back of it. And a lot of people are doing that, and they're actually automatic now, where you just hit a button and it opens automatically. The, wow. The tonneau cover, so your whole bed can be completely sealed off or uh, open up with the push of a button, and you know you've got your your lock there on the back so you can actually lock your tailgate down and secure, secure anything everything. in the back okay all right so i see it's got the supercharged 560 badge back here the callaway rocky ridge callaway badging and the um the backup camera hidden right here underneath the locking tailgate Also, another uh, addition with with Rocky Ridge is the fender flares. Okay. And they're color, you know, the exact color matched in the truck. It definitely sets it off. You've got the uh, the rain deflectors, slimline rain deflectors above the windows. Um, you know, another thing that's just really sleek and more low profile compared to the original model and yeah I hardly even notice they're there but yet they're a necessity really uh, also on, on the side here you've got automatic uh, step sides um, all right let's let's check them out i believe these are the amp research is that correct yep, yeah they uh, sure are some models of the rocky ridges depending on which one you get come with the uh, a tubular step but these are actually a flat step that you see here work automatically i can i can see one right over there yeah there's one on the altitude these actually yeah. retract up and stay out of the way but yet drop down low enough where they're useful okay yeah i've seen these before they're very strong all right so is there anything about the exterior of the truck that we uh, want to highlight? I notice it's got the Rocky Ridge badge there on the uh, the suspension components too. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can't see it, but underneath, uh, a lot of times you'll see some Rocky Ridge logos up underneath on some more of the components. Uh, 
All right, so let's start looking at the inside. So right here, since this is a big truck, we'll do door by door. Here's the inside of the, the passenger side. And um, now this carbon fiber here, Adam, is that is that something that was uh, added by Rocky Ridge? Yep, that's a, another addition by them. Um, you know, this, this inside, outside. Uh, yeah, the floor mats down there. Um, you know, just when you're buying a truck of this caliber, you know, uh, every little feature matters. And, and they definitely step up the game and give you everything that you need. So no need to go to the truck accessories place when you leave the, when you leave with this thing. All right, so it's got the dual glove compartments there. You can see it has the uh, carbon fiber around uh, the trim there on the on this side as well. And then you've got that pocket there that um, that the Chevrolet trucks have to kind of. Uh, put some papers or something that happened to be in your hand when you get in the truck. You also have tons of storage spaces over here, too. I like this one right here. It's kind of a quick access when you're in the vehicle. You can put your phone there or something like that. Plus, you have two bottle holders, um, which is always handy. All right, let's continue on to the back. And you see the back door still has... Uh, plenty of uh, storage space in it. It also has the water bottle holder that's here in the front, which I, I think that's really convenient for the, the back seat drivers. So you can see all the seats have the uh, perforations uh, in them um, to help, you know, the leather from not sticking to you and stuff like that. These seats do lift up so you can, you know, utilize some of the space underneath it. It's easier to clean. And you notice it has a big one-piece mat on the floor, but uh, covering up almost all the carpeting in the back. So, um, so you don't have to worry about uh, any kind of dirt getting in your carpet because this will trap not only dirt, but also uh, more like water or, or melting snow, different mud, things like that that's on the people's feet when they get in the truck. You got the, uh, you know, just the speakers in the back of the seat, and also yeah. the doors. This a Bose surround sound system, and they've got a, a subwoofer in the center console, and just speakers. Really? Uh, all around the. There's cab, a subwoofer so. in there, huh? So that's a good sound system for sure. All right, let's see here. We've got some armrests with some cup holders here as well. And I like it how everything is black on the inside. It's completely, even the carbon fiber accenting that. That's pretty awesome. All right, so let's go to the only seat that really matters, and that is the driver's seat. Now, before we do that, looking at the rearview mirror, it has this little um, blind spot, I guess. Uh, I don't know how to say it, like a, a, a place where you can see a little bit more of a view there, like a wide angle lens, but you yeah. can't feel it. What's that, Adam? Convex, or is it the reverse of that? I, I, would, say, I would say that, but it feels completely flush. I don't right, know if it's right. behind, the, behind the glass or what. Um, but yeah, I think it's uh, the convex. Um, typically, it would be a convex shape, and then that way you get a wide angle view. Then you got the side markers here for your turn signals and the little LEDs there. Uh, another thing, you know, just talking about the side view mirrors, um, these trucks have built into them uh, actually vibrating seats. So if you're a little left or a little right, the left side of your seat will vibrate or the right side. So there's. Is that the lane departure warning uh, system? Uh, Is that where it. <clears throat> or basically alerts you to make sure you're staying on the road. Is that, yeah, is that yeah, what it is? Right, okay. right. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it senses, you know, even if you don't cross the line, if you're <clears throat> just bearing left a little bit. You know. And I think that's that sensor there behind the, um, the rear view mirror, right? Is that correct? I think there's a sensor up there. And I, and I, was, I was assuming that was uh, the case. Well, I don't know. Maybe you can tell us in the comments. <clears throat> You need a PhD to know everything about this truck. 
So looking at this door, same thing with all the pockets there. It's basically a mirror of the other side, except for it has a little bit more buttons. Um, you do have the Bose speaker there. Now, window controls are here. You can lock out the rear windows with this button here. You can also, this is a child lock to keep the children in the back from opening up the back doors. It's really easy to just push that button versus some other vehicles where you actually have to um, you know, flip a switch on each door. So that's an easy way to turn it on and off. You also have the power door locks, power side mirrors. Uh, you just choose the side and then you adjust it. Now the center button is to fold in the side mirror. So you can push that button and both of them will, will fold in out of the way. Um, that's a good feature for when you're parking the vehicle or if you just need to squeeze in a small garage or a small space. You also have the presets for your seat. Now it does have a power seat with the lumbar support. So you can set your seat to a specific spot. You can also uh, ch choose to push that button and the seat will get out of your way basically and move out of the way as you're exiting the truck. All right, so right here is um, your four wheel drive knob right there. And basically it's a two wheel drive high. You see the little arrow pointing up, uh, four wheel drive high arrow pointing up arrow pointing down means four-wheel drive low and you can switch that into you know desired place it does have automatic headlights um, you can turn them off like that you can also put it on uh, the parking lights or headlights there and pushing the center button will turn on your fog lights there's a dimmer switch for your interior lighting in your dash um, so you can adjust that to where to where you want it over in the center console, you've got a, just a ton of accessory plugs. You have a 110-volt yeah. plug in this truck. You want to get on the passenger side and we'll check it all out? You've got numerous cigarette lighters and USB <laughs> plugs. <laughs> all right, so we're going to hop in and check it out. So I had to put the seat back. You've got oh, yeah. three USBs, 12 volts, and there's your 110, and in the console there should be a few more. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Yep. It's got an SD card. You've got another 12 volt there, so the days of not having accessory plugs are over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I like the way you can cover them all up so they're kind of you know not so um you know just kind of keep them out of, out of sight and and not so clittery looking since there's so much stuff there you've got a power sunroof here on this truck yep do you have the keys yep somewhere in here we'll go ahead and start it up so we can hear this thing rumble It does have remote start too. Here's on the key fob. You can uh, press and hold that button after it's locked and it'll start up, but let's see what it sounds like. Oh yeah. Let's listen to what it sounds like outside. has a little bit more of a rumble than the the regular um, trucks and definitely a lot more power you know you also inside uh, you've got the own store yeah in, comes with the truck and also uh, nowadays you've got the capability of making your vehicle a hot spot so uh, you know, with that own star service you can Upgrade. Well, let's go look at that. If you want to. Right. 
So on the steering wheel, we've got the um, the carbon fiber there. We've got the volume control on the back of the steering wheel here. You can change through your presets on the back of the steering wheel on this side. The cruise controls here. Voice recognition, which has tons of commands, including tune to a certain station, go to a specific address, call a certain person, that kind of stuff. Hang up the phone with that button. These buttons correspond with this menu system here, and you can kind of scroll through. I'm just going to scroll through just so you can get a general idea of what information you can get. You can even get the tire pressure in each tire. Then, of course, you got all the Z71 gauges. So you got a lot of information there. Window control, uh, your windshield controls are there and your turn signals. And look at this. Premium unleaded fuel only. So you've got some, this is a special edition, so it's got some special instructions for the, for the new owner. Interesting. Then you've got the Callaway special edition Rocky Ridge badge there uh, and there's the touch screen you know, you're saying about the OnStar OnStar button is there um, let's see if I can get it to focus on that but the, the OnStar is on the rear view mirror you also have the emergency button and and assistance button there and Lene here at the dealerships she takes every customer through uh, just all of these features on the vehicles once the vehicle is purchased and gets you set up with OnStar and, and shows you how to operate everything there's you know I mean it's almost overwhelming to some people <laughs> yeah you know? so uh, it's one of the things where once you get used to it you're like it's easy but is you kind of have to know the um, the ins and outs of it and where everything is and what it actually does mm -hmm. um, and then that way uh, so like pushing the home screen uh, it's similar to a computer in that you have these icons here. You got audio and your phone, your navigation screens are all just a click away. You can also check out your weather and once you pair your cell phone with the Bluetooth system, you can uh, push use the Pandora and play music through you know online radio. And then you've got your presets there at the bottom. And of course you can always go to your radio. Now this media button down here, uh, that's where all these ports that as Adam was showing you. When you're, we can plug in something there, um, especially the the USB, the auxiliary, and the SD card inputs, and you can play music through the sound system using just about anything. In addition to the satellite radio and the CD player, which is hidden down in here, and I'm kind of surprised that it has a CD player because um, they're kind of the CD players are kind of phasing out in a lot of vehicles now. So get them while you can. Do you have your air conditioned seat on? It's got a heated and air-conditioned seat uh, on the driver and passenger. So basically, <clears throat> you can also push it, and you can have it like colder or less cold, basically. And then in the winter time, you can use the heated seats, and it can heat up the back or the the, the back and the bottom of the seat. And then your down here will be your climate control, and so like on Adam's side, right now we can sync it to where I can set it whatever I want. But if Adam needs to change his side, all he has to do is just change his side and it unsyncs it and he can adjust it the way he wants it. You got your fan speed here in the center. Where you want the air to blow is around here. Trash control, you could turn that off if you wanted to. Um, this is your cargo light. There's a light in the back of the cab that illuminates the entire bed. Uh, you can turn that on here. This is the downhill descent button. This is for off-road use only. So like say if you're going downhill and you want to um, maintain a certain speed, you want to keep moving without sliding, uh, you can use this button and, and it tells the truck that you want to use engine braking and, and stay in a low gear and, um, and also use a combination of the traction control and the ABS system in order to keep you from spinning out and sliding down the hill. All the storage pockets in there is amazing, isn't it, Adam? Yeah, yeah, it is. The only thing about this thing, I know that if this was my truck, that would be jammed full of junk, <laughs> and I would never be able to find anything. I like the way it has that liner at the bottom that you can pull out and clean and put it back in. Yeah. 
You've got the lights there. There's your siding back glass button. It does have uh, buttons for a garage door opener once you pair those. Now this little thing here is your speaker for your Bluetooth system. So when you're speaking to your friends and family or whatever, um, that's the my actual microphone. It's got lights and mirror and the visor. Does it have lights and mirror on that side? Yep. I like the way they slowly mm -hmm. turn on. <laughs> I'm ready to look at that engine. Well, you? that's why I've, <laughs> I've been waiting I know on your get command. <laughs> that's, uh, Let's look at that engine. That's a monster. Well, I guess it's not so much that the engine's a monster, it's a standard engine that on the boat, but and that's where the monster comes from. Okay, 560 horsepower, that's amazing. You got the, the custom uh, carbon fiber, you know, that, uh, that cover shield over the bag cover there. Then on top, you got the super carbon. Isn't that what they call the honker or something yeah, like that? They call it the honker. <laughs> I see it's got this badge here. All right. So, um, I think if I, I don't know, this would be tough toss up between this or a Z06 but if I had my choice at, at any this would this would be one number one or number two for sure. You think Joe will let us take this out and see what we can do with it? <laughs> Maybe spin it around the parking lot. Uh, <laughs> move it put it back where it was. <laughs> All right well I guess um, that's about it for this video and if there's any questions or comments or anything you have to add if you have any experience with a truck like this do you own one something like that um, or if you've driven one test driven one tell us what you think um, you know me and Adam are not uh, experts on this particular truck we're just kind of showing it to you so um, so if there's anything you can add please do and if you have any questions you can call Judd Coon Chevrolet I'll leave the link to the to the website and also the phone number to the dealership in the description and I'll be glad to hook you up with an awesome truck if you want one all right thanks for watching and thank you Adam thank you Judd Coon Chevrolet and we'll see you next time see you.